today we're going to be looking at two absolutely free train driving simulators for PC that you can download and play right now. In the video, I'll show you how to download the games, add routes and also show off some gameplay. Links to all the sites I mentioned in the video will be placed in the description. So let's start off with Open Rails. In 2001, Microsoft brought out Microsoft Train Simulator. Although it was a popular game, in 2009 development came to an end. Luckily though, that wasn't the end of the story, as Open Rails was born. Open Rails has been written completely from scratch and runs on modern hardware, but is compatible with Microsoft Train Simulator routes and assets. But because the project is popular, people also create new routes for it, and one of those is what we're going to try today. To download Open Rails, you will head to the openrails.org website. Now you'll notice in the bar it says the site is not secure. Not to worry, we're not giving them any private details, doesn't matter. So when you actually uh, open the website, you're going to see this. Now this one looks appetizing, it looks like you should go and download this, but it actually says it'll download 1.31. Now we're up to 1.51 already of the game. So I won't, I wouldn't do that. So close that, head to downloads, program, click on the button, click download. Now, I think you should probably put it somewhere you're going to find the, uh, the folder. So I would go to downloads. Now I've created a subfolder called train games videos. Now we're going to be showing two videos today. So I've created another one called open Rails. There it is. I've already downloaded it. So you'll click save and then we're there. We've done. So let's actually download a couple of routes while we're here also. So we click on download again. This time we're going to click on content. So I think we're going to download this one and we're going to download this one. Now this one's a direct file. Now if you look bottom left, it says openrails.org files demo model 1.zip. That's what you know you're opening. So you click on it and guess what? We're going to go to train games. We're going to go to open rails and guess what? I've already downloaded. So train model one there it is. You click save, put it in the same folder we just done. Now this one is slightly different. This time you don't have to do that. You can just click on it. We will go ahead to um, GitHub. Now this seems to be where a lot of the routes are actually uh, stored. It's not actually that difficult to install it from here. So you would normally go to releases, but there's no releases on here. So you go to the bottom of the page and you click on download the zip. Not that difficult really. Guess where we're going to put it? Train games, open rails, and guess what I've already downloaded. This one does take a while to download. So now on the computer, we open up Explorer and head to where we download it. So we know we download it to downloads, train games, open rails. Again, you can download these to anywhere you want, as long as you know where they are. The first thing you want to do is click on here to set up. Yep. English, or for me at least, accept, next. Uh, we'll create a desktop. I don't particularly like those, but okay. So it prepares the download or the install. So it's going to install this, but uh, if it's already installed and it is on mine, it won't uh, do that. Now, because I previously installed this, it's going to install it where I've I've chosen before. Didn't realise it's going to do that because it remembered. But for you, it'll ask you where you want to put it. Now, I chose again for my NVMe drive. Again, you can choose anywhere you want. Program files, create a folder called games anywhere if you want. I tend to store my uh, train games into one area. Now, what I've created was two folders, one called Open Rails. Now, this is where the game is. There you go. It's there. And the other one will be for the routes. So they can't be in the same folder. The routes cannot be in the same folder as the rail, as the actual game. So once you've actually installed it, you launch it and you come to this window. But there's no content because we haven't done that yet. All right, so we're going to exit out of there. We do get to update 151 and it will auto update. It will tell you if there's an update. 
So the next thing we want to do is actually install the roots. So the first thing we want to do is unpack these. So right click them, go to Strat All. Yep, it's Strat. It's a nice little folder for us. Right, that took a while, so it's extracted the first one. And let's do the second one. Again, we're going to right click and we're going to go to Strat Tool. And finally, it's actually extracted. Now that took about half an hour to actually extract their second one. Now I did want to extract two though, because I want to show that each, each of these roots might be zipped differently. So if we have a look at demo model one, we've got an instruction, then we got the folder. So it's this folder here, which we will want to actually um, copy over. Now on this one here, there's nothing in here, but again, it's the second folder we want to copy over. So in this window, we've got what? It's in the games folder I created. That's where the uh, the game is actually installed. And this is where we can install the roots. As you can see, I've already done it. But So we create a folder somewhere. This is what you do. You basically choose a place to create a folder, name it. I call it Open Rail Roots. Then all you do is head into there and then you copy it over. Copy. Now it's going to give me an error in a second because I've already done it. Go back again, do the other one. So you just drag it over. So you do that to the end and then everything will be in place. Now once you've copied the roots to the, uh, like the folder you want to keep them in, you're ready to open the program and uh, add them to it. So we open, open rails again. We go to the add. Now I've got mine in my E drive and of course it's not showing, is it? No, so PC, E, games, open route routes, and we click on the demo route for one. So don't choose one of these folders, it's just the main folder we copied over. And that's the first one. So again, there, E drive, games, open route routes, and the ME Coast. Once again, don't choose a subfolder, change, choose the main folder. There we go. That's it, it's done. And we do other settings we can change. It's quite useful. Obviously you can rekeybind anything you want. But essentially that is it. It's okay. Now along here, we actually can choose our route, the one we want to play. The activity we want to do, so I'm just going to explore the route. This particular route's got two locos you can try. Got two contests. You can choose where you're going to start. So let's just go Edinburgh. Edinburgh to Glasgow. Time is midday, summer, clear. And we're going to click start. Right, once you're in the game, you'll see basically this. Um, you might see this screen. And to get back to this screen, you press escape. So you can quit, save your game or continue playing. Now use your arrow keys to actually look left, right, up and down. One, two, three, four. One this is view one. This is two. And again, you can use your arrow keys to move around. I think it's the... Scroll button on your mouse. I should look like inside. Rage you know it, but it's fine, isn't it? So. Controls actually, uh, is it left or uh, right? You hold your mouse button down left, right. So we're in forward, frame break, release. So I'm basically holding my mouse button on it, what, my left button, and then I've moved the controls left and right. Right, 
press screenshot there. I'm assuming it does something. I actually don't know. If you look on the left hand side, it says what the percentage is. We're, we're okay to go. Uh, that's for you to one, that's for you to three, gets you there. Was that four? Uh, this is four. Five? No, so we've got four views. You press four multiple times, you get to. It's very much like. Um, Use a rail car simulator on that. That's the, the rear of the train. Now I'm left handed, so using the arrow keys up and down is actually perfect for me. But I'm, you can do the key binding, so I think it's fine. Probably our first station we're meant to stop at, we're not going to. It'd be nice if you could swing your mouse round to actually look round. Let's quit out of this one. Oh, didn't mean to completely quit. Let's open it back up then. Uh, fist speed to their return. Or explore. Any moat. We actually got quite a few locos here. Now do. Where is everything? You can call it. Ooh. So we've got the... He's put little arrows across the dials. Don't think that's going to do anything because we haven't got anything on yet. Um, Well, doing it with keys, W seems to get the reverser going forward. I don't know if I'm cheating. I've got to be doing so wrong. Either way, it's moving. It's moving quite slowly, but it is moving. Oh, we're quite fast now, actually. You've got to remember this, the age of the original game. And so I suspect there are limitations there. But... We're an absolutely free game, this is fantastic. And this route's been done really well, looking at it. Okay, that's where we're going to leave this one. We are going to head to the next game now. So next, we're going to look at OpenBVE. 
Now, originally, the game came out all the way back in 1996. It was a Japanese three-dimensional computer-based train simulator. So if you want to find out about BVE, um, I'll leave the uh, Wikipedia link in the description. But let's go back to the main website. So you will download the game from openbve-project.net. So when you open the page, you'll see here. So to download the game, we will head or we'll click on the download link. We will uh, choose a folder. I've chosen open BVE and you click save and you can see I've already done it. So we are going to go to the extension site I found. Now this is at openbve-packaging.github.io, which will take you here. Then you click on extensions. I suppose we download one. Where should we go? That's quite nice. Should we download this one? Now, once again, we're going to uh, download it to Train Games Open BVE. Probably going to have to unzip it. Download a second one, or maybe a train. Should we download a train? Okay, so this actually takes you to a Google Drive. So I'm just Google Drive here. We have to click back on there. So do watch out where you're actually clicking and. Right, so we've downloaded these two things here. This is the route we've uh, downloaded. So I'm assuming we've got to extract this. So let's do that. All right, it will extract that as well. Now, once we've got all the packages we want to download, next thing we want to do is actually create the folders for the, uh, the content and the game to go into. So again, within our games folder or wherever you, whichever folder you want to put it in, we're going to create a new folder called Open BVE. So there, new folder, then name it what you want. Now I've already created one, so I don't need to do it. The next folder you want to create, BV or BVE content. Inside the uh, BVE content, we need to create three new folders, other routes and trains. Again, new folder and call it one of the, and call it these three things. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually install the game. So double click on it, English for me. Now, my C drive is tiny, so I don't want to put it in here. Plus I've only got the folders which I want to put in. So close that, go and find it. There, games. And what did I say? It was open P BVE, open BVE, that's it. So that's where we want the game to go. Call it that, go to desktop, yep. So once we've uh, installed the game and unzipped everything, we want to move the actual roots to the folders we want to keep them in. So like we talked about, we've created three folders, other routes and trains. So in the routes folder, we want to open that one up. Then we're going to go to the route we've actually downloaded. And everything in this folder, in the railway folder, we want to then copy over. Once again, under the trains, we basically want to copy this. I'm pretty sure it's just this folder over. Now we are ready to open the game. So we put it on the desktop. We're going to double click on it. So the first thing we want to do is go to options. Now you're going to want to change this to whatever resolution you actually want to play in. You have to do it manually. You have a choice of window to full screen. You want to go to the next page. Now the reinstallation directory. Now when you installed it, it might have asked you to do this. Um, as you saw, it didn't when I installed it a moment ago. But you can actually change it. So what we want to do is, so this is the root one. We want to find the E drive. 
Should we just put it in? Games. Um, BV content. Roots. There you go. Games. And the other. There we go. So it's done. Now, if we press the start new game, start new game, it still stays onto there. That's default, which is annoying. Okay, so this one does actually, it does actually see it now. You still have to go into root. You still have to go into GE. Now, this is basically, um, this is this folder here. That's the root. And that's that GE. And these are these three. These are pretty much just CSV files. These are spreadsheets. So it's probably got, they probably simply got the detail of the root on there. That's all they've got. And the rest of the data is on the objects and the sound, I imagine. So luckily, yes, it is working. So you can just click and ins install there. Now, as I say, the one thing I didn't get going is these controls. I've closed the game now and reopened it. So maybe they will take. Let's see. Shall we start one then? Click start. Choose you. Choose you. That'll do. Okay, if you right click and move your mouse about, you can actually look. But if you right click again, it won't do it, which is good. And then you use your arrow keys to move about. Right, so F1 is this uh, camera. F2 is this camera. F3 is this camera. F4, for some reason, is this camera. Oh, it's a fly. Oh, I just read it. It says flyby. So it's probably moving. When you're moving, it'll do it. You can't actually interact with anything. Just slightly annoying. Now, if I press Z. Now, this was the original key for the throttle. Now, I've changed it to plus. But if I press plus... Nothing happens. Plus an enter on the keypad. Yeah. Here we go. If we were to press F2, we can look around. I assume there is our speed. So Z and Q is uh, faster and slower. Now I did see on the menus there are three levels of um, control. So arcade, normal, which we're on, and um, expert. Oh, that's interesting. That camera stays there. F3 stays there. F4 stays there. Okay. <laughs> um, shouldn't you be following the actual train? Five, six, seven, no. Oh, I like this, actually. So maybe we're doing 110 and we're doing 116. Oh, 
I may stop here, probably. I think I've decided we're in express service. Well, can I change the ca- Ah, oh, I can use that thing. <laughs> so maybe the, the two games, these two games are a little bit more a little bit harder to set up and get going than the average Steam game. But as you can see, they're not bad. <laughs> draw distance may not be great. Actually, I think you can change that. I think you can draw distance. They're basically 60. You'd expect that. Now, it would be nice to be able to control them via here. Now, I am pressing different buttons. Doesn't seem to be able to. Maybe other locos you can. Maybe it's just this one. That's a thought. Oh, we're going to make a stop then. You passed the stop signal. Yes, we were. I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's a good place for us to end, though, isn't it? But uh, no, these are two fantastic games, free games that you can play today. A little bit more setting up in the Steam game, but uh, well worth it as far as I can see. But uh, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye, Z, bye.